Good morning and welcome to the Year 6 Leavers Service 2021. Firstly, I'd like to say how proud we are with all of the Year 6 pupils. You have had a challenging year with lockdowns, phase and class bubbles, but you have demonstrated some fantastic personal characteristics. You have shown how resilient you are. After each period of disruption, you came back and settled straight back into the routine of learning. You have shown empathy to others who have found things difficult. And you have shown maturity that proves you are ready for your next steps into secondary school. Over the next 25 minutes, we are going to see and hear some of your achievements, reflect on some of your memories and listen to some of your aspirations. It has been a pleasure and a privilege to have worked with you this year and I'd like to wish you every success in the future.
I soon met Taylor and we just clicked. When the space coffers came out, we would be the first on them and we would always fall on our bottoms. I remember when I got my first bronze wow award and I was so proud of myself and I ran it to my friends and I even showed my dad. I remember in year one when we went to the beach and I fell in a rock pool and I got my knee wet and I had to change into spare trousers. In year two, I remember going to the beach and picking up the crabs. In year two, I was best friends with Adam and my teacher was Miss Sullivan. We made rockets and t-shirts. It was great fun. I remember in year two, we were trying new foods. We were making pasta with Miss Fawcett in 2F. And I, my friend Addy dared me to try a spring onion. He knew it was hot and spicy, but I didn't know that. And then I was running around the classroom looking for water. Then once I drunk water, it made it quite worse. So I was still running around the classroom. In year two, I was in Miss Kelly's class with Matthew, Riley and Sir Josh. And we always used to help, you out, help each other out on a question. I remember in year two, Mrs. Lee thought my handwriting was so good that she thought a year six crept down the stairs and did my work for me. My favourite memory of year three was when it was our class assembly and we had to bring a big teddy in and wear our pyjamas. In year three, I had Miss Knight and I met my best friend Sophia. I remember sitting on the carpet underneath the teacher's desk talking to my friends. At playtime, Sophia used to give me piggybacks and tell the teacher would tell us off. Year three is my best year. I was in Miss Knight class and we did lots of fun activities. Me and Josh had a competition of who could build the best Mary Rose. Sadly, he won. I also met my best friend Gracie, who is still best friends now. At the end of year three, I was picked by Mrs. Sullivan for Sporting Club Byron because I was good at sports. Although I wasn't the best behaved child, I was surprised to be let in. I remember when I came to this country in year three, I didn't speak English when the teacher spoke to me. I didn't get a word, but I still got my pen license.
were in, in year four, we went to Kingswood. It was so much fun. I was with Roman and we ate loads of sweets that night. I remember in year four when I made the dragon egg and a volcano. And I also um, had my favorite teacher, Mr. Gullet, teaching us. And I also got to sit next to my best friend. I remember in year four, I was in Miss Nuttall's class. My, my only friend was Evie because I had just started to school. During year four, we went on a train to Rochester and I didn't like the bit where we had to wait for the train because I thought I'd fall onto the train tracks. Also in year four, we went to Wing and Wildlife Park. I remember seeing flamingos, wolves and a cheeky monkey going for a toilet. I was in year five, Miss Lovell's class. Um, I we didn't get to finish the whole year, but it was still fun. I had my first swimming lesson, but, and I dreaded it, but I still survived the day. My class in year five was with an awesome and supportive teacher, Mr. Stone. I remember my first day in sporting club Byron, where we played tag rugby and completed the bleep test. I could hardly move a muscle. I also remember the fun swimming lessons. I nearly drowned in the first one. In year five, I was in Miss Lovell's class. She was really nice and would sing all the time. I had two best friends, Connie and Lily, and I had my pen license. I remember when we went on a trip to look at Victorian houses, and we also went to a mosque. I remember in year five, we were learning about Mexico, and we were trying different foods like guacamole, and I tried the hot salsa, and my eyes started watering like mad. I haven't been at Byron School that long, but I've grown to love some of the teachers and I've made some really good friends. And um, Mr. Locke would come in in different ties every day and always talk about his love for music. Year six was the best year for me. I fitted right in and I met Evie. Mr. Seward is lovely and you're really lucky if you get him. All the topics we have done have been really interesting. I really don't want to leave. I have really enjoyed my year six and making new friends. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for me. I want to go to sixth form so I can get my A-levels, a so I can go to Royal Marines and fight for my country. I hope I do well in my grammar school and in my future exams so I can go to university. And um, I have always been desired Ready to become a doctor or a pharmacist and I hope I live happily with my family and I don't want to become too famous because I don't like it and I'm not like that way. I've always been stuck on my most to be my grandmother, a nurse, a psychologist, a dentist, an MP, a lawyer or a welfare business. Whatever I choose, it will mean I'm doing more studying. I am looking forward to the clubs in secondary school. I am worried that the subjects are a little bit harder and that I will get lost. And I want to be a famous singer once I grow up, or a basketball player, or an actor. And I also want to go to university. I'm looking forward to meeting new people, doing new subjects and um, doing photography and um, starting a business involving photography. I am looking forward to um, see some of my friends in Brompton and I hope I don't get lost. And, and after secondary school, I, I'm looking forward to get to university and get a job as an architect.
And now the year six end of year awards. Excellence in writing from 6C, Zoe. Excellence in reading from 6S, Theo. Excellence in maths from 6S, Noel. Most progress in writing from 5-6-L, Archie. Most progress in reading from 5-6-L, Lily. Most progress in maths from 6-C, Mariah. Most progress in handwriting from 6S, Damien. An excellent attitude to learning from 6S, Remy. Most improved attitude to learning from 6C, Drew. The Sportsmanship Award from 6S, Abby. Excellence in the Creative Arts from 6C, Chloe. Excellence in Science and Technology from 6S, Zanda. Excellence in Humanities from 5-6-L, Jacob. Excellence in Home Learning from 6-C, Lincoln. And this year, our Heart of Byron Award from 6-S, Sophia. And finally, our Best of Byron Award goes to 6C Arabella. I'd like to say well done to everyone.
final days in primary school are often described as the end of something. I like to think of them as the beginning. Just seven years ago, this group of children were getting ready to begin their primary education. When I think about those seven years, they have flown by. They must have been lightning speed for parents and carers. There has been a school on this site for 125 years now. And while so much about education has changed in that time, there has always been children starting this school and always children outgrowing this school. And that is where we find this group of 73 year six children. I'd say children, but that might be the last time this phrase is used because something magical happens during the summer holidays between year six and year seven. It might just be the secondary school uniform, but I think it's much more than that. Whatever it is, the summer holiday will fly by and the first day at secondary school will suddenly deliver a taller and more mature person, heading boldly towards the teenage years and lots more homework too. So today is the beginning. It is the beginning of the next chapter in the lives of this group of young people. The COVID pandemic has proven them to be far more adaptable and resilient than any of us could ever have imagined. And it is because of this that I know that they are not only ready for this new beginning, but they will take the opportunity it presents to thrive. The whole staff team wish them all the very best for the future and look forward to hearing about their successes. Thank you and goodbye to the Byron class of 2021.